Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. That's that's my new song for today. Good morning. <laughs> so good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm just sharing here. Come join me in the kitchen for a Jamaican favorite snack. And I'm going to say click on the link. Not libido. Click on the link. What? The link below to join me live not love live not love you just give me trouble live and i click post and it's up on my facebook channel good morning guys good morning good morning good morning to the all of uno enough respect blessings and honor glory and power be unto the ancient of days it's a beautiful morning and want to give god all the praise and glory and all those razzle dazzle stuff live chat all right let me see if i can push the video up to front right so that's it we're there we are there all right let me see if i can put down the tablet no my live chat is on this tablet, the live chat opens and closes, but as it's well, on its own in a base. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Blessings to each and every one. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. It's a beautiful morning. Official Jamie, good morning to you. Good morning. Sunshine, blessings to you, girl. Thank you so much for jumping on. I know you're busy at work, but you, you at least jump on. I'm love that. Thank you so much. All right. So today we're making uh, a popular Jamaican snack. Uh, it's a traditional Jamaican snack. A lot of people love it. A lot of people like it. But I noticed when I'm looking, I, be, I made this several years ago, maybe about eight years ago mm -hmm. on my YouTube channel. And that was when we were just starting out. And so a lot of people, we, and the, the quality of the video wasn't all that and all of that. So we, we, we're doing it over. All right. So if you know, you know, we're making um, Solomon Grundy. Solomon Grundy. You know the song? The, 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 the nursery rhyme? Solomon Grundy. Oh, no. Hold up. Go ahead. Solomon Grundy. Come in the camera. Oh, no, no, no. Come in the frame, my baby. Tuesday. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No, 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 no. We don't know the rest. What's here? <laughs> we just know when you're born. Anybody out there know the, 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 the nursery rhyme, Solomon Grundy? Oh, All right, Solomon Grundy is a, is a popular English nursery rhyme coming from England back in the day, so it's lost in antiquity. I don't know the, the, the major um conversation about it but in jamaica and for those who are not jamaican and you're watching thank you so much for you know jumping on our lives i appreciate it guys if you love the content that we produce please go ahead and give us a thumbs up drop it in the the thumbs up just drop a thumbs up we have about right now it's showing me just about 16 people in the chat room and we're begging you drop a thumbs up all right so increase the thumbs up go ahead guys so official jamie says she has never heard the nursery rhyme before let me just give you a little bit guys my life is not necessarily a demonstrative type of program it's also an interactive program so we're gonna talk so if you're here for just for the food please watch the edited videos so that you don't get upset with yadabella tv and mrs yadabella tv good morning good morning all right Sunshine says, I know it. My mom used to sing it um, to us. My mom is from France and England. So there, I, I, I'm right. It's an English nursery rhyme. It's from long time days. Last in antiquity, as I said before. Um, so the, 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 the nursery rhyme says, Solomon Grundy, born on a Monday, christened on a Tuesday, married on a Wednesday, took ill on a Thursday, 
um, got worse on a Friday, died on a Saturday, buried on a Sunday, and that is the end of Solomon Grundy. <laughs> so his life took one week. Wow. And that's, it's a morbid type of, you know, um, yeah. and I, I think it had to do with the Black Plague and, yeah. So if you know, you know. And if you know, and you can educate us, please do. If you're from England, mm. why every time when Jamaicans are talking about England, we put on the accent. British accent. If you're from England, mm -hmm. you well know, done. the Queen is dead. Long live the King. And uh, we just want to thank you for joining us this morning. So today we're making the Jamaican um snack solomon grande which is simple simply smoked red herring in a dip form it's in a, in a like a condiment so it's like a similar to a salmon dip but it's then... yeah but it's smoked red herring and that is also based on the fact that that was what we had most of the jamaican dishes that are traditional and the ones that well loved are usually made out of sub subsistency all right what we have what we use and so that's one of the, the things that we're using today. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me just show you the list of ingredients before, guys, because uh, I know you're here for the food. So let me show you a list of ingredients. All right. So the first thing we have is our uh, smoked salmon. All right. That's the first thing smoked we have. Herring. Smoked red herring. Sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and and guys, what has been happening in 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 previous times? You used to have to buy the smoked fish and clean it up and do all of these things, but presently you can get in your Latin supermarket. You can get it in this form, which is they already process it and clean it up for you and do all of the nice things. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some boiling water directly onto my salmon my, my my red herring and why might i ask all right so this is gonna do two things it's gonna sort of clean it you know from all of that store junk <laughs> mm -hmm. and it's also gonna help to remove some of the salt now guys even though this is classified as smoked salmon it is highly salted all right and so if your blood pressure watching and all of that you're gonna be careful with this dish you're not gonna run in and try name the whole thing one time all right mm -hmm. so we have that and then also the rest of stuff that that um you use to 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 make this this dip it varies depending on where you are if you look in several different jamaican households they'll make it differently all right but some essentials are garlic um onion uh i'm putting tomatoes uh scallion and i have a little bit of scallion there and i have thyme now i'm gonna leave this conversation here for a little bit all right now some people put red herring put on um, red pepper sorry mm -hmm. some people put different types of vegetables well, and scotchy. you know scotch bonnet has to happen it has to happen okay. we have to put scotch bonnet um e green says Good morning e green Good morning, E. Green. Usually. Say, top, top. I'm trying to read the thing. We usually, oh, we usually in Jamaica wrap the red hair in newspaper and roast it. Right. That's what they used to do. And that was when, that was when you got the red hair in, in the skin and it sort of dry till it tough. Where you do, you wrap it in the newspaper and the newspaper would soften it up. When you, when you touch the fire to it, it would soften it up and then you would be able to peel back the skin. Right, E. Green? I think I'm, I'm on the right path where that is concerned. All right, so thank you so much for your input. N. Ram, good morning to you. Thank you for joining us. All right, let me spin this back around again. So as I said before, some people use, you know, um, red bell peppers and different her, um, um, vegetables in it. Some people use carrots. We have carrots? We don't have the carrots. Some people use different vegetables in it. And again, that's your preference. That's your choice. In each household, there's a ton of different things that... Carrot or white carrot, but not yellow. Give me the purple carrot, yeah. Um, carrot is carrot, so we can use it. All right, so I'm going to use a little carrot just to add color. Again, most of what they add is, is that. Now, if you, if you should buy um, Salomon Grande from the store... What you would end up with is you would end up with the same thing. However, the store bought, um, the, 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 the commercial companies, what the commercial companies do, which is something that I, I sort of upset, I'm upset with, is that they add um, oats. They add oats to them Salomon Grundy. By adding oats to the Salomon Grundy, 
then you hope to stretch it the oats stretch it and the oats make it also a little bit thicker so it's not that runny you know um you, you don't want your salamon going to be too runny or too trashy you want it to have a nice little paste like consistency even though it is it is um it is not um what the word even though it is not smooth because you're not going for smooth you're going for a rustic type of vibe but you know nice and 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 you know vibes it all right see we have a purple carrot here guys so we're going to use a purple carrot you also salomon grande also is normally a darker color so it you know from from a condiment standpoint it is not light and and pretty you know it is dark and almost look like you put um um soya sauce or, or any one of those things right congratulations on 106 subscribers thank you official jamia we are we are pushing it we're pushing it we're pushing it barbara Loy spence that's why you make your own see barbara you're so smart and that's why why i'm putting this tutorial up now the first thing that happens when you use um oats is that oats also have yeast i don't know if them add extra yeast or what baby but yeast mm -hmm. and i'm saying we're not supposed to eat yeast extra from where i eat bread right 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 why are you gonna give me yeast pan top of, you know mm -hmm. so all of those niceties guys all right so i'm not adding the 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 oats what i'm adding instead here is coconut flakes everybody love coconut flakes mm -hmm. so i'm adding some unsweetened coconut flakes here and you can use the sweetened one too but not too much right the coconut flakes will turn this into somewhat of the Sri Lankan sambal type of vibe, which is another condiment that they make in Sri Lanka, where them add dried fish and coconut and, and nice. You understand them set it up nice. Earl Lewis, good morning to morning, you. Blessings Earl. to you. Um, and so I am switching from the oats with the yeast. And I'm using coconut because I know that coconut works very well with um it, it it's it's hot. I make it stay there. Turn off the stove. I can just leave it on the stove and turn it off. All right. So the coconut works with it. So um enough of the the, the, the conversation aspect of this. Make we see if we can start some some cooking. All right. Or maybe you're gonna be the camera person for me today. Thank you so much. And guys, we also see a lot of different methods by which people ground the the the, the mm -hmm. red area. Mm -hmm. But we're using a food processor to do ours today. And I'm pouring off the water. You want them to see this? Can you notice that the oil is on top? You see that oil there? Mm -hmm. That is the natural oil where in occur in in herring. So the, the salt water not only cleans the herring, but it also pulls off some of that, that excess oil. Red, red herring has such a nice, unique smell. I love the smell, yeah, the smokiness. Yeah, very, very unique. It's very smoky. And you guys ever tried red herring with anything sweet? Like bulla? Yes. I mean, no, see that you come with. I mean, no, see that you come with. Well, bulla and red herring is very nice. All right, so maybe just mm -hmm. throw in some of these scenes. guys you know can cut up on a seat and that stuff beforehand mm -hmm. so no, no, i forgot you all of this with me and you can use white onions too you don't have to use red onions and i'm i'm adding what a four four cloves of garlic six, six cloves of garlic and this is like a quarter of an onion because yeah a half a half of a small oh, red half onion because sm yeah. we're trying to give you guys more accurate measurements as far as possible or as much as possible I'm putting in some thyme, and thyme again is not essential to the dish, but I feel like it will add a little bit of vibes to it. Mm -hmm. One of the main um, um, aspects to this dish is that you have to make sure that your red herring is nicely seasoned, all right? Mm -hmm. It's important, guys. And for this dish, I'm hoping, I'm, I'm going to see if I can beg the wifey to run the ingredients out there. I mean, I know if you want to run the ingredients out there, are. What do you mean, run it out there? Put it on the, on the, 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 under the video. Yeah, I can do that. All right, so we're putting some, some thing like that over out there. All right, guys, so we have our seasonings in the food processor. Half of an onion, four cloves, five cloves of garlic, one sprig of thyme, and a little piece of scallion. And what in the world? What? What do you mean, what we in the do? world? 
I'm putting in a pepper. Including the seeds? Of course. Oh my God. What's here? Pepper and the seeds? Yes, pepper and the seeds. Oh, pray for me, guys. Pray for me. Good All morning right. to you, too. What is his name? Semorin. Semorin and Sudlow. Good morning to you, um, Mr. Sudlow. I, I think it's a, it's a man. If you're a man, it, please indicate male or female. So right here I have four cloves. Mm -hmm. I'm dropping in my cloves. Yes. Yeah, I might drop in a little bit more because I know we as men. Mm -hmm. All right. Guys, go ahead and give a thumbs up, yeah, for venturing into, you know, so it's something <laughs> different for breakfast live. Not the normal stove top cooking. I have some pimento seeds or allspice berries. This is allspice berry. You can get it from Badia. All right. Or oh, did I show them the whole clove? These are organic whole cloves. You can get it from Walmart or any other store. Mm -hmm. More garlic for me. What? Six cloves of garlic and, and, and Enram said more garlic. All right. I don't so. Know what I'm say oh, okay. Okay. Enram, we need you to text me um, when the video is done. Text me upon the, 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 the number, the 305 number, please, and thanks. I need you to text me ASAP, Mr. Enram. All right, so I have my carrots here now. Throw in my carrots, all right? And then I also have... I also have... There's the number, Enram. Mm -hmm. I also have some of my, my little stylish seasoning. This is garlic, uh, ginger... Um, jalapenos. This is our miracle seasoning. Yeah, our miracle seasoning it has a little bit of um, vinegar in it as well. Mm -hmm. And that, by way of, by, um, I'm glad to remember the vinegar because the vinegar has to be in it, guys. We have to put vinegar. Vinegar, vinegar, vinegar. Ah. Ah, apple cider vinegar. vinegar or white vinegar? Apple, apple cider done? I don't think so. I don't know. Mm -mm. White done, though. All right. So you're using apple cider, you guys. So may use apple cider vinegar. You can use the vinegar that you like. And I'm not using that much because apple cider vinegar is unique and has its own flavor. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to add some spices, but I'm going to pulse it first and add those later. So pulse first, add your other powdered spices. I'm going to add my tomatoes as well. And the reason why I'm doing this is because you really want to pulse these quicker. You want to get the, these, these, um, these, um. Good morning, Alan Queen. Yes, work. We have to take a prep. <laughs> so I have all of my stuff in there. Good morning, Alan Queen. Big up yourself. All right. And then now. All right. After. Yeah, because what I want to happen is I want the flavors to release. I'm, yeah, I want them something. Of it, it. It's almost like you don't want them to be um, too noticeable. Okay, okay. So you you're trying those, to yeah, you want those to be processed down much, 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 much further than the fish. You don't because smell them. You remember you smell the pepper. What do you mean you smell the pepper. What do you mean, of course. <laughs> 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 Guys, I ate a earther right now. Near, oh, watch the man. All right, no, me go add. No, me not add the coconut yet because the coconut got thicken it up. Mm -hmm. Now, me go make the pulse a little bit more. Pulse number two. All right, awesome, awesome, awesome. And now, guys, you're going to start adding your fish. All right. And you can find this fish at your local Caribbean store. Mm -hmm. Latin store. Mm -hmm. Latin store. And guys, just when you add the water to the fish, the fish gets plump and nice and juicy, albeit the oils, in the natural oils in the fish start to be released and the fish start to taste good. Now, the next thing I need to caution you, this is not for children. Let me tell you why it's not for children. And you have to, if you're giving your children, you have to be, give them with caution because in the fish, you notice these? There are some super duper fine bones. I don't know if you can, the camera is picking them up. Mm -hmm. All right. So you don't want to, to jump and give a picnic them here. So let me put a disclaimer out there. This is not for children. Mm -hmm. Tastes good, don't? Yep. 
But guys, when you process it, the, the fine bone um, really and truly goes away. You know? So you don't have to worry about that. All right, let me just put in all of the little remaining water, water, yeah? I just want a little juice in it. All right. Close up. So that's how it looks before the, the blending now. The pulsing. The pulsation. The processing. The pulseraciousness. I like the food processor. Thanks, Barbara. And thanks to the, the beautiful donator of this food processor. You know, we, we got it as a beautiful housewife. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. I'm going to prep. <laughs> now I'm adding in some of my coconut. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of my coconut. Yes. So that's maybe about two or three tablespoons mm -hmm. of coconut. Mm -hmm. And if, you're, if your dish is on the browner side, as I said, you can darken it up with a little bit of soy sauce or food coloring or, or um, browning, yeah, you know. Um, what, do, what do you think? Can we put the little bit here? A little, a little bit of browning. Browning, guys, or no browning? Let us know. Browning is just so a brown little caramel or color. Not so brown, that's the question. <laughs> <laughs> browning is just a little caramel color. <laughs> that you know just make it make it nice and deep deep in and, and rich you know so that is supposed little. to be the bomb right the bomb dee -dee -dee. all right Cold and this is just now. a quick pulse <laughs> see there all right so mm -hmm. let me look at this now. Texture check, you guys. Texture check. Nice, 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 nice. The texture is beautiful, and the the this, this, the dip is the dip is pretty much where I want it. You know. See, you know, you're getting the vegetables in the small, minute vibe. Mm -hmm. You know. Oh my God. Guys, there's one more important, very important step that he is going to be doing. One very critical step. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and give us a thumbs up in the meantime. If you want to see the next step, <laughs> thumbs up. If you want to see the next step, thumbs up. If you want to see the next step. All right. Daniel Reckley. Good morning to you too. Love it. We'll try it. Yeah, man, you guys should try it. If you have access to and if you don't have access to that you can even use smoked salmon don't yeah but it's a different texture though mm -hmm. a lot of people probably can't access the red ring but guys i'm meticulously um you know i'm a meticulous person so I'm gonna scrape off all of the red hair off of these things. It's part of my OCE. Meticulous you call it? I think it's another um OCE obsessive mm -hmm. compulsive disorder i think it's just mean you don't want to throw it to <laughs> wow to i'm not mean <laughs> <laughs> lardy, lardy. all right all right you guys so. Um, So this is where he's gonna be adding more seasonings, right? More flavor. Well, not really. Not yeah, yet. sata, yeah, sata, yeah. I'm gonna start to add some stuff. And again, guys, if you wanna keep it as rustic as you want to, you know, you really have to add nothing more to it, you know. But me is a guy with love flavor, you know. Mm -hmm. Taste it and tell me if you like the, the, the amount of pepper, the pepper content. Taste it and tell me. Let's see, so little tops. You know, if it is a little tops, just taste it. Yeah. Putting some oregano. How oh, that taste, babe? Good. And it's not taste super sour, don't it? Mm-mm. Nice. I did a good job. 
You taste the pepper, there's a pepper kick. It now kick you down to the ground, you know, but it <laughs> kick you. You feel the kick. <laughs> this is some onion powder. More garlic. Got Enram some more garlic. So I'm using some garlic powder. <laughs> right, Barbara? Barbara said food too expensive to waste, even in the smallest amount. And I'm using some 21 season salt. I'm also going to put a little bit of cumin, guys. Bear with me with the cumin. Um, I'm also going to put some paprika because I like the color paprika. that paprika gives. Yeah, make it have a nice orangey vibe. All right. Now, again, this, all of this is not absolutely, you know, this is just my unique way of doing this dish. Mm -hmm. So don't come for me and say that not supposed to be in a red herring. You know, I'm making the best red herring that is on the planet right now on the whole entire social media. So <laughs> if you want to try my style, I know you're gonna love it. The yard is style, yard is style, it wicked and wicked and well. <laughs> Adding some more of my shredded coconut. And as I said, guys, the shredded coconut I'm using to replace. The, the, the yeast that they put in it, or the, not, not yeast, oats that they put in it. And guys, I have made this somewhat of a, a dish with, with um, shredded coconut before. And guys, you all loved it. Everybody who tastes it, love it. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if I should start making condiments and, and um, for, for people to, to purchase online. Hmm? Why not? You already bellies. Condiments. All right, so... Look at this, guys, and you would think that is the final say, right? But no. Good morning, Simone. Good morning, cousin Sandria. Good morning, E Green. E Green was on already? Yeah. Yeah, more pepper for me. I like it very sharp. A true wow, E Green. My face over, put more pepper for you. Sunshine said, I will try it because I only eat fish. Don't eat any red meat. It looks lovely. You Sunshine, let me tell you. Day. I'm going back to work. All Sunshine, right, just before you. you go, let me tell you something. You see a spoon of this with little rice? Girl, oh, all your heart skip a beat. For real. Boom, tiddy boom. Just mix it in some plain rice. Not a lot, you know? Just a little. Pepper. Go and take the boots in here. I'm taking it. <laughs> oh, God. E green. Why are boots him up? I can put more pepper. Sure. All right. So now we're just mixing in. And this is the most, as I said, important um, aspect to the dish by way of preservation and also by way of making the dish just come together mm -hmm. under one umbrella. Get fit and done. Bless up yourself, family. Tanya Johnson in the house. Big up, Guys, Tanya. I have maybe about half cup of olive oil here. Big up yourself, Tanya. And you just want to do this now. Oh, Lord. See it there? See it there? Does that somewhat cook it? Yeah, you just make everything cook. Wow. That is how you make sure that your dish is going to be oh. nice and delicious. And that's when, when you see it in the bottle and you Eggs. see that little oil on top, that's Thank what you do. You. Thank okay. you, girl. You just get the nail on the edge. So now we have made our, our dip. Mm -hmm. You smell it? Cheese on. Want to you? Why it smells so nice or no? Because the coconut. Jeez. You know, same time you burn coconut, it have a nice smell. Guys, I wouldn't believe how this thing smell. Simone, Jeez. may I give you some? I don't know about the other guy. Yes, yeah, Simone, may I give you the some? I don't know about the other youth. <laughs> Good morning, Devana. Bless up yourself, girl. And that is our Solomon Grundy dip. May I have a bottle it now? Mm -hmm. In a nice little backer. It's time for the bottling. But guys, while you wait, mm -hmm, let me remind you about the Green Valley One Day Detox. Yes, this is a powerhouse cleanse. All right. So if you grew up back home every summertime, when you come to back to school, your mother would give you something to, to, to do out. what we call a washout. Meaning all of the caracara that you've eaten throughout the year, this is the opportunity to get rid of it the from out of the it. stomach. Yeah. So this is a more natural, a very mild. This does not have any discomfort at all. 
So when you drink the bottle of it, it don't cut your belly, it don't hurt your belly. There's absolutely no discomfort, right? So guys, this is again the Green Valley One Day Detox. If you're having any kind of constipation, if you are having any kind of bloating, if you're too fat, yes. Or something as too fat. Don't <laughs> or if you are just low in energy and want to, you know, just get rid of all of the unwanted toxin from, toxins from the body, then you want to try our Green Valley One Day Detox. All unwanted fat. Unwanted fat. These are the ingredients, guys. All natural moringa, dandelion, king of the forest, um, sour sap leaf. We have Guinea and weed. Jack in the bush, Jill in the bush, inflammation weed, aloe vera tuna, which is prickly pear, garlic, verve. It's guys, you cannot beat this combination of ingredients. Even if you had a stick, you couldn't beat it, right? So, yeah, if you would like to order this product, and I'm sure you do, you can text us at 305. I'm going to be putting the number in the chat once more. 305-204-1270-305-204-1270, right? And guys, just um, a note, you guys should take this product when you're home, but you have no reason to leave the house because it's going to, you know, cause you to make multiple trips to the bathroom, yeah? And the next day you will feel 10 pounds right. lighter. Right. Yeah, remember me tell you. 305-204-1270 to get your bottle. Bam, bam. I really love your videos. Keep them coming and have a good day. All right, E Green, bless up yourself. Wake up yourself. Yeah, it's time for the plating. Time for the presentation. Jaleen Monroe, good morning. Good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> good morning good morning good morning for those who have not seen our beautiful faces from morning all right more. <laughs> <laughs> so guys anybody can guess what we're going to be serving our salamande salamande <laughs> anybody can guess what we are going to serve up our salaman grande with Two seconds you have to guess. Just type your, your guesses right there in the chat and so we can see what you think we're going to be serving our Solomon Grande with. Let, let's see if you're a true Jamaican, if you're a true Caribbean <laughs> person, if you're a true Yadi, if you're a true Yadi <laughs> Belly TV. Um... Connoisseur. <laughs> yeah. Donna <laughs> said, water crackers. <laughs> It's possible, but hey. Morning to you, Barrington Christian. Bless up yourself. Didn't get a note. Why are they not notifying you, Barrington? <laughs> Barrington, if you say you owe somebody something, you owe YouTube and then uh, <laughs> YouTube said that's it. All right, guys. Plating time. Talk is over now. It's plating time. You were correct. Donna and Simone, you were correct. You were correct. I missed a question. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> the question was, what were we going to serve up our Solomon Grande with? P, you did a good job. Solomon Grande is looking pretty good. Thank you. Thank pretty you good. Kindly. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. So, guys, when you come into the city and we have our Yadi Belly restaurant, this will be offered as a part of our appetizer. <laughs> right? Yeah. Appetizer, I say appetizer. Lord, I gotta miss an appetizer. This one, this one is, is gonna be a real see. May I tell you that? I wanna it, it, it tastes good. Mm-hmm. It tastes good. I mean, me, me, me never tried it that way yet, but me know it tastes good. Big up, big up, for real. Guys, and we want to give a birthday shout out to Tanya Johnson. Birthday, belated birthday greetings to you, girl. Mm -hmm. Hope you had a lovely day yesterday from the Yada Belly TV family. And Are this we could be you, Tanya, but I know you don't come to us. Yeah, Tanya, this could be you, but you refuse to visit. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this could have been you, but you refuse to visit. <laughs> 
Hey, for real, you know, Barbara? Barbara said some lemonade for wash this down will be good. You're right on point. On point. Hey, you guys, have to leave. Point. Just remember to FedEx my instance. All right, cousin, take care. Oh, my God. For real, for real, for real. For real, for real, for real. Oh, my gosh. That's a lot. All right, there's still one thing more we want to show you about before that. Let me also remind you guys to, to support our natural hair and skin care line. One True Natural is our own brand. Yes, guys, we're official like that. One True Natural. If you've never heard about it, today's your lucky day. One True Natural is in town, is in the building, is at an online shop near you. So, guys, go ahead if you would like to get Jamaican black castor oil. Like the real deal, not the fake deal. Mm -hmm. You have to check out our Etsy shop. Or you can text us at the same number, 305-204-1270. We have natural products for the hair. And we have handcrafted soaps. This is our turmeric sea soap bar. Oh my God. If you bathe with this, you never ever want to stay clean again. Because you're going to want to bathe again. So you're going to get dirty again just to cause you want to bathe at the same time yeah anyway guys one true natural let me put the the thing in the chat what you what you know what you know what you know hey emma eat it and emma love it because he love it and it's so nice wait no you never see the you never see it <laughs> oh p guess what i want mine with I want mine topped on cucumber slices. Is that good? Is that possible? Anyway, I don't know. Get her from the website for order the ear products. www. dot etsy. dot com forward slash shop forward slash one true natural i just added it to the chat so when you're done watching this video just go ahead and check out our etsy shop page we have them in gift sets or you can get them as individual products all right and guys look at here look at here look at here look at that we have a whole extra bottle over there mm -hmm. that we can put in the refrigerator you do you have to refrigerate um I don't think so. No, you don't refrigerate it. Oh yeah, because it has so many the pepper and all of those spices. You and the coconut. And the coconut and the and the oil, you don't need to. Wow. When I bend Turn as it a woman, him give her what she asks for. When a man is a slave. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> mm mm. This help cool down the pepper too. <laughs> Good. Yeah, one more with the cucumber. Mm hmm. Ten dollar. Mm. It's good, you guys. Put a small slice of pear with it. <clears throat> we have pear, but we don't know. We have to cut it and see. You know, so cutting pear is like a risk. You don't know if it's going to be good or not. Stop it now. Stop. Stop what? The camera keeps doing foolishness. Alright guys, one more close-up of our Solomon Grande. This looks official, P. I'm not lie. It looks official and it tastes nice. And you know, so it's, you know, natural. Good morning, Carmen Collins. Sound and looking delicious. All you need is avocado with that. Everybody's saying avocado. It's the wow. salt and the pepper blow. Okay. And the lemonade. Yeah, <laughs> now we need it. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Look here now, I like sauce and all chill. So, guys, what are your thoughts on this one? Is this something that you would try? Let us know is if this is something that you think you would try. In your, it's, just, it's just a combination of the herring. Once you have the herring, the red herring, and your seasonings, you're good to go. That's it. No drama. Not hard at all. It's, it's barely 30 minutes that we've, you know, been live. So it's quick. Quick and easy. Tanya said definitely she's going to try it. 
Mm -hmm. So if you guys do it and you try it, just snap a, a photo, post it, and tag Yardy Belly TV. Look at this. If you're having events and you want to do something a little different, if you're hosting people over and you want to do a nice appetizer, yeah, use cucumber. Fancy up the thing. Elty up the thing. And put your red ring on top. Everybody's going to be like, oh my God, that's so delicious. Yeah. They're going to be like, oh, I got the cake. Oh, it's so <laughs> spicy. Oh, it's so delicious. Mm-hmm. Let me see if we can Look hide. easy to try, for real. I add avocado. Guys, the avocado is looking like it's not a bust. Right no. No, no. Look here, guys. This is when you have five star chef mentality, you know. You, only them time they can think about these things when you have five star chef mentality. Okay. Boom. <laughs> Pop in the mouth and you. No, eh, 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 eh. Just say eat it. Just say eat it. What kind of pop in a witch mouth you talk about? <laughs> Ray the Illist, good morning to you. Good recipes as usual. Thank you. Thank you, Ray the Illist. Ray, Ray, you hear her? Both pop in the mouth and it's all right. No, uh -uh. Pop, Just pop one in your mouth, baby. Pop nothing. <laughs> we just I like, eat it. <laughs> you understand? We consume this up. I want you, bad man. I want you, my girl. Oh, my God. I don't laugh. And I don't laugh. See, boy, don't laugh. All this. That's One it. So That's it. You, you just officially come off of the live with the media argument there. Mm -hmm. Yes, Daniel. Shall we clean up them argument? They straighten up that. Back out of that. But just pop in the mouth and you just can't wait, wait, wait. No, eh, uh eh. -uh. No. Guys, this is a healthier version if you don't want no carbs at all. And this is this is nice, you know. Um, as hors d'oeuvres, if you want to try this as hors d'oeuvres. Yeah, it's not, it's not messy. But this is something that, guys, are definitely worth trying in your neck of the woods. And as I said, this is, this is the way in which you want to preserve it. This will last for maybe up to a month in your fridge. Once you have um, you know, done the, the little, that little saute with the hot olive oil, because the olive oil does bring back everything back down, all those fresh um, ingredients that you add. If you don't use a little hot oil to, to bring it back it will sort of go rancid you understand so you have to be careful you know but this is the salomon grande and as i said before i made mine with coconut instead of oats like what i see on the market i don't think it's necessary i'm gonna try to get it get a nice um four ounce container and then maybe we start out some that's when we go up and when we go up and um when we go uh, uh what do you call it praise house and then something there we can have it to buy you know who can want to support your the belly TV? Because everything we do, we have to do, we have to think about it from that level also. Mm -hmm. Right, Sister Tanya? So, I'm going to make sure it's start out and up and running. May I sell crackers with it? <laughs> For real? Five crackers, five crackers on a container, <laughs> so for $3. Dollar. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, so this is our yeah. life. Babe, try this up now, man, and you may make it final. Okay. You understand? You can do whatever you want about popping them out. Me not doing that. Too bright, you understand. All right, guys. So, I already tried one, you forgot? Yeah, but it's with the avocado now. Oh. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh, it is avocado work, right? Mm -hmm. So, now you're responsible for making the lemonade. It's a good, nice balance with the fresh, spicy, and the salty, mm -hmm. and spicy. We need some lime. You don't have lemon. That lemon here. Yeah, you can that sprinkle. Lime. You oh, can you, squeeze yeah, lemon. Yeah, lemon. Yes, it's so true. You get all five um... sensations of the magnification. Yes, yes, it's true. Guys, thank you once again for watching. Mm -hmm. You understand? This is a quick and easy recipe. Just get the stuff, put them in your food processor, and then the Trinidadians them say you chunk the oil. You chunk the vegetable, the, the, the thing in oh, the oil. What they call it? Yeah, that's chunky. the word for it. Chunk it. So big up all my Trinidadians listening at this time, watching at this time. But this, I, I, as I said before, I stand by this as the absolute best Salomon Grande on the internet right now. I um, welcome all challenges. Mm -hmm. I maybe tell thumbnail. You, the thumbnail I look goodish. Yeah. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching. Big up on yourself. And remember, we are always live. So keep your notification bell rung. 
and put it on notification all so that you are aware when we go live. Thank you so much for watching. Big up on yourself and have yourself a great day. Remember, live and laugh. Cook. And Donna Lee, your, your cleanse gone off. Your, your cleanse is on the way. So big up yourself, girl. Your cleanse is on the way. All right. Have yourself a great day. God bless you. A peace in the Middle East. Peace. <laughs> I got one more last look on the food. One more last look on the food, man. Tell you. The food looks so good. The food looks so good. Salomon Grande, born on a Monday, christened on a Tuesday, married on a Wednesday, to kill on a Thursday, worse on a Friday, died on a Saturday, and buried on a Sunday. That is the end of Salomon Grande. Salomon. Hey! 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 Nice. 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 Bye bye. Bye.